Hey dear users. Welcome to the Agile Store Locator Plugin Tutorial. Today, we're going to explore the sidebar and infobox customization feature of the Agile Store Locator Plugin, and how to customize Google Marker infobox and sidebar. We'll also learn how to leverage the Customizer tab of Agile Store Locator and customize the store list or infobox marker content. So, let's get right into it. Let's first learn how to add social media buttons to the store list. To add social media button on the store list, you'll need to go to Agile Store Locator Plugin Settings option. As you can see there are a number of tabs inside the Agile Store Locator Plugin Settings. To add the social media button fields. Scroll down a little bit. Now you can see the Manage Additional field. Add your social media button names in the label, and control fields. The only difference in the control field is you can't add capital letters and spacing. Now let's start adding social media buttons labels and control in each respective field. Once we have added the labels and controls, let's save the fields. Now we've successfully saved the social media fields. Now let's go to the Customizer tab. Choose your store locator template. In this example, let's select template 3 and choose store list section. Now load the template. Now if you don't have any coding experience or don't know much about WordPress. Fortunately, you don't need any coding experience to add social media buttons on the Agile Store Locator store list. Just copy this code from our documentation guide and paste it just below the closing of tag. Once you update it, just save the template. Now let's go to the Manage Stores dashboard and assign social media URLs to some stores. To add social media URLs, go to Manage Store option under Store Locator Plugin. Once you are inside the store dashboard, Let's add social media URLs of the Amanda Food Court. Click on the pencil icon for editing. Scroll down a little bit to see social media platforms URL fields. Now add Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram URLs in the given fields. We are adding social media website URLs for demo purposes. And always remember to begin your URLs with HTTPS. Now scroll down a little bit and update the store. Now we have completed all the steps to see the social media buttons on our store locator. Let's go to the front end display to see whether social media buttons are on the Amanda food court or not. Let's refresh the store locator demo page to see our social media buttons. Here you can now see all the social media buttons on the Amanda Food Court. Now let's also add Amanda Food Court's phone number just like we added social media buttons. We'll add it on the info box. Go to ASL settings. Scroll down a little bit. Now add label and control for phone number. Now head back to Manage Stores dashboard. Click on the pencil to edit the Amanda Food Court. Scroll down a little bit. Now here you can see the phone number field, let's add the dummy phone number. Now update the store. Now go to the customizer option. Choose template 3 and select info box. Load the template to add the phone number HTML. To save time, I've already written the HTML in the notepad editor.
Paste the HTML code just below the ending div tag. And now save the template. Now refresh the page and let's see is phone number showing on the Amanda Food Court info box or not? Now you can see it's showing inside the store info box and we've successfully added a phone number and social media buttons on the store locator. Thank you for watching the Agile Store Locator plugin tutorial. Stay tuned for more educational tutorials. Until then goodbye.